Hello ukulele bandits and welcome to ukulele fun time. I'm Mark Thomas and today we're going to be looking at your starting point in your journey of learning the ukulele. This wonderful instrument is so much fun to play and sounds so great. You've got to master a few basics to get you on your journey and if you practice the right way and you practice these first little exercises um, every day as a routine you'll find in no time at all you'll be able to pick up the basics. Um, obviously we'll be looking at uh, a series of videos I'm going to be putting out on the basics, basic chords, strumming, uh, all the sort of things that you know you might ask questions out when you're starting out and hopefully those questions are answered for you in those videos. Uh, but feel free to message me, comment, ask me questions and I will release more videos on and, and try and answer those as much as I can. Uh, so there's a lot of good instructors, there's a lot of good pe uh, you know lessons out there and the idea really is is for, for me purposely I did this videos um, for a group that I teach in Bracklesham Bay in England and uh, being in lockdown uh, due to the coronavirus uh, a lot of guys in the group are locked down and can't get out and so we started a little online ukulele club and a lot of questions will arrive and I can't always answer these questions in the group online so I decided to put a bunch of videos together um, basically um, answering the questions that I commonly get asked and hopefully they can re-watch this and it could be useful for anyone else starting ukulele. So the ukulele is a great instrument and the idea is that we need to tune it up to start with. I would recommend getting an electronic tuner. Uh, you can get these for four or five pounds on eBay or Amazon. Uh, that, you know, The more you spend on the tuner the longer it lasts the better the quality will be but Ideally, they're quite simple little gadgets really and the idea is that if you clip them on the end, this clip on the tuner here clips on the end and if I was to pluck a note, it would tell me on my tuner what note I'm playing. Now learning those first four notes are really important. So we've got here A, E, C and G and I did this from the string nearest to the floor. This is called the first string. I always think of it as like a ladder. So you're climbing the ladder, the first run, the second run, the third, the fourth, and the fourth is nearest your head. So learning those string names is probably the most important thing because if you're going to tune the instrument you need to know the names of the notes. So this first string is an A string and if I pluck this note, uh, I'm going to put it out of tune. So I put it there, you see on my tuner, mine's, mine's a tuner that tells me exactly what note I'm playing and where I need to be. But if you've got a, a basic ukulele tuner and put it to the ukulele setting, it will actually uh, tell you whether you're flat or whether you're sharp. That's whether you're too low in pitch or too high. And then by tweaking the tuner, I can see it change. Uh, and get closer to where I need to go. And when I'm in tune here, this lights up green. A lot of tuners have colors. It might be green, it might be red. The important thing is, is if you get a digital tuner and you learn how to tune up the strings, and it, sometimes when it's a new ukulele, it would take a lot of tuning. And that's like every hour to start with, or every day is pick it up, give it a little tweak, make sure the notes are in the right place. Because once they settle, you won't have any problems. So A, and then my second string should be an E. I'll flatten that one again and then I'm tweaking it until my tuner tells me I'm in the right place. So some tuners, if you get a good one, it will give you a lot of information. Some tuners will have an arrow that goes up or down, so it tells you whether it's it's got which way you've got to tighten or loosen the string. Um, and don't worry if you get confused because tuners can be a little bit confusing. There's loads of videos on YouTube on, on tuners anyway, but this will help you. So if I'm I'll go too sharp this time, so it's a little higher than I need to. So this is telling me that I need to go the other way. And eventually, when I get it in the right note, it will flash. So great little gadget, and then the G, just a little tweak. So that once you've got it tuned, it should sound like this. You hear it, a lot of people will do it from the, the top down which is uh, my dog has fleas, which is a great way of, if you can memorize that, great way of checking whether it's in tune. Obviously when I tune it, I'm tuning it from the first upwards, but it doesn't really matter which way you tune it, as long as it's in tune. Um, I'm just doing it in string order. Um, so the idea is once that's in tune, you need to learn a little bit about how to make a sound on the ukulele. So frets, these metal parts, these metal lines that are coming down on the fretboard are called frets. And when I push my finger 
down on a string and when I mean down on a string I'm going to push down in between this first bit here is called a nut it holds the strings you'll see it holding the strings this first metal line is a fret if I push down in between that nut and the fret and then play play the note that on the string that I'm fingering you'll notice I get a different note than when I didn't have a finger there so what you're doing is you're shortening the distance of the string and you're increasing the pitch which is how high it sounds so you got higher and then lower as you go down this can happen on every string so a great way um, of practicing just fretting and getting the right note thumb should be in the middle of the neck the first finger should curl over like that and you should create this like C shape it should be like that so the idea is that if you've got that C shape and you got the finger right over you'll get a nice clear note and then just pluck it, it can be whether you do it with the thumb or the finger it doesn't really matter how you do it at this end because we're concentrating on the fretting hand so you push down hard and you'll get a nice clear note and then move it up one can you get a clear note there you don't need to go too far up just four or five frets will do to start with if you can do that with the first finger do it with the second finger do it with the third finger do it with the little finger you'll notice the little finger will be weaker work on it practice it it will help you out later on but it's not really important to to spend a lot of time on that it's a warm-up you should do that every day pick it up on every string with every finger just four or five frets making sure you can get a clear note. it's a great way of uh, endorsing that finger strength and making sure that you're getting clear notes because when you get to do chords you need to use a lot more than one finger um, some some chords use three or four fingers some chords will use one or two so preparing them all and practicing preparing them all is a really good thing so a little a little game or exercise I like to play is the first one is the Jaws um, game which is basically where we play the first string we we'll do it on any string really but we're gonna do it on the first string here which is the A string I play it open then I fret on the first then I play it open then I play it on the first and the, the shark is quite far away and we want to make that shark as close as possible that we really wouldn't want to do that in real life but go with me uh, we're going to go open one open one open so you can see that i'm getting quicker and quicker and that's it actually takes a little bit of practice to get the coordination and get the fingers to come down and play that note it's such a simple thing but it, it's a very good exercise and if you do it every day and put it as part of your practice routine and it'd be really so to start with and that's okay you could do all that on every string then and you can use every finger doesn't matter where you start and the idea is to build up the speed, build up that technique, uh, try it with every finger. And that's a little, great little exercise to start with. And if you practice that, uh, along with learning the names of the notes and tuning and making sure the instrument's in tune, that's the first step before you go on to play the chords and learn the chords for your songs. Anyway, um, obviously feel free to message me, um, subscribe if you like the video and you want more videos because I will be putting a few more up as we go along. And the idea really is to just enjoy the instrument. It's a great instrument to learn. Um, take care and I will see you again very soon.